What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today is the third and last video of our HD truck comparison. Video number one was just comparing my 2500 versus the 3500. If you didn't see it, I'll link it up here and I'll also link that down in the video description below. Last video was comparing my Bighorn versus this Tradesman. Same thing, I'll link it in the description below and it'll also be up here for you to click. So the third video and the final video right here from our HD truck comparison is testing out the suspension. My 2500 has coil springs, this 3500 has leaf springs and air assist. Now the air assist is like an $1,800 package available in both trucks, 25 and 3500 trucks. My 2500 on coil springs though, rides a lot better. It's a lot better for a daily driving truck. Rides pretty similar to a half ton. It's real cush and plush, but it's gonna squat a heck of a lot more than this 3500 with leaf springs and air assist. I have driven this 3500 empty and it is a rough ride to be honest with you. It is super, like you you know when you hit a bump it, this thing will rattle your skull but obviously when towing it's a lot better than what my 2500 is going to be when towing so the setup here what we got here behind me is we got my 2500 sitting here like i said next to 35 and we got we, we picked the best skid the most neat skid of wheels and tires sitting here on the forklift now there's six lug wheel and tires they are aluminum but there's 32 of them i estimate that they're probably about 50 pounds each so it should be about 1600 pounds of weight that we're going to load into the bed of each trucks and see how much they squat now obviously 3500 with air assist is going to pick back up but in general we're going to see how low it squats before the air ride picks it back up my truck here 2500 should be about 3400 pounds cargo into bed the 3500 here behind me is like 40 something obviously 1600 pounds 15 1600 pounds is not maxing it out but in general i think it is a good comparison to see how much each truck squats with the different suspension setups all right so like i said 3500 sitting here with leaf springs and air ride assist you can obviously see the leafs and there are the air bags if you, my camera focuses and then 25 500 sitting here on nothing but coil springs which you could see there they are hiding and so hopefully this contraption works because this pallet is a little bit too uh a little bit too wide to fit over the wheel wells and we don't want to damage those so hopefully that works forking this pallet into each truck and we're going to see how low it squats but first we're going to do a quick measurement of how how high the trucks sit currently all right so my 2500 if i put that there we're sitting right here at like 43 inches, to call it say 43 inches is how high my truck sits from the back. The 3500s did surprise me. They do sit a little bit lower from factory. We're right there at like 41 and a half. So uh, at this point, we're gonna load the pallet up in the, the bed of each truck, see how low it squats, and uh, kind of go from there. so check that out it definitely squatted pretty good we're not going to pull the fork out underneath because it's kind of sketchy and that's a brand new expensive truck but the forks like the weight is off the forks it's not sitting on it so like it just kind of it's on the blocks forks are under just for some support um this looks pretty nice though you think dot would uh you think dot would care if i drove down the road like this um either way look check it out so if we measure now if we measure now we're just under 41 we're like 40 and a three quarters so this truck squatted i mean i'm thinking that's only 14 maybe 1500 pounds and the truck squatted like two and a quarter inches maybe i'm glad we don't have the full 3,000 pounds so that's all we wanted to do so this truck squatted two and a quarter inches we're going to pull the skid off put it on this truck and see what it does and hopefully we could capture that before the airbags kick in and pick it back up so
All right, so it really didn't look like that squatted the 3,500 all so much. The same thing right here, forks are off. There's no weight. You can definitely see that way. There's no weight there. Let's measure this guy. Before we were at 41 and a half inches with no weight. Now we are at 39 and three quarters. So like literally an inch and three quarter is all this truck squatted and the bags have not kicked on yet. This truck squatted almost double that. So we're gonna start the truck now, get the bags to kick on and see how it works and see how much it goes up. So truck's on, bags are probably gonna sense that there's weight in the bed and gonna pick up here. So after the airbags inflated, we're right there like 41, almost a 41 and a half. So the airbags 100% help because it got the rake back on the truck and pretty much went back to the way the truck was without anything. So like I'd be towing sitting here kind of kind of squatted with like three inches of lean. Whereas this thing, once we started the truck up and the bags realized there was weight in the bed, it picked it right back up and uh, she's pretty much back to stock. So pretty impressive. So if you tow a lot or haul a lot, you definitely want to consider the bags because they are available in the 2500s as well. Only difference is you're still going to get coil springs with bags in this truck, whereas you do get leaf springs and bags in this truck. And that's it guys, that's all I wanted to do is kind of like throw a pallet of something in the bed, see how the truck squatted, see how it took the weight, and obviously we could tell that my 2500 squatted like pretty much two times more than the 3500 with air and obviously the air lifted that thing back up and it was in good shape. So we're 100% going to do some airbags in my truck here at some point because once we lift it I don't want to, you know. Um, either way, <laughs> either way, game over. So I want to do something quick, something easy. Uh, this is the end of the HD truck comparison. So thank you to Kyle, my forklift operator right here, hooking it up, uh, helping out with the video. Uh, like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe, join the family, join the builds, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.